Hello, this is Dan Morgan from Beyond 20, and today we're going to take a look at the new attachment capabilities when sending out information from an individual record in ShareWall version 7. In previous versions, we weren't actually able to easily send out an attachment that was part of an individual record or ticket in ShareWall Service Management, but now in V7, we can very easily send out uh, a single attachment, all attachments, or attachments of a certain type based on criteria that we select. So let's take a look at an existing ticket in ShareWell. This one doesn't have any attachments in the attachment bar at the top of the ticket. So if I go to, say, send an email to Henry by clicking on his email address, the one step is going to pop up that normal email that would go out to him. And if I go up to my attachment message bar here, you'll see I don't have any attachments from the ticket. All I can do is grab attachments actually from the attachment manager or browse my local hard drive or network drive to grab an attachment. I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to move to another ticket that actually has a couple of attachments in it. So this one has a log file, actually two log files attached to it. <clears throat> so if I do the same process, and click on the email hyperlink that's going to pop up that email for Montel. Now you'll see if I go up to the little attachment drop down, I can attach those attachments from the current record. So I could grab the first one or the second one, or I could set some criteria and say from records. So when I click on that second option there, now I can say I want to grab all attachments at one time the first one, or two, or three, or four, or five, whatever number I choose, the last number, and that's based on when they were attached to this ticket from left to right. So if I say the first attachment or the last attachment, if there were only two and I said last attachment, it's going to grab the one to the farthest right in the list. I can also say include attachments of a certain type, uh, separated by semicolon, and I can use wildcards like question marks or asterisks and I can say exclude certain types, minimum size of the attachment in megabytes or kilobytes, and maximum size of the attachment. So I've got quite a bit of flexibility when I define those rules for attachment of exactly what I can add to these outgoing emails. So that's, that's quite a nice feature that was added recently before we couldn't attach what was attached to that ticket. So now you've got the capability to create a one step that would automatically add certain things or certain attachments that go out to the customer. So perhaps when you create a process for HR and you want to do a new employee onboarding, you could have a one step in that business process that when the ticket is created actually add attachments to the ticket and then any subsequent contact with the customer, in this case Montel, I could have things automatically go out to him when I send those via a one step. So that's a quick look at how we can add attachments to outgoing emails from the current ticket that we're on. If you'd like to see further videos from our Beyond 20 ShareWell archive, please subscribe at youtube.com slash beyond20llc. Mm -hmm.